All righty, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me, my channel, and this video. This is for a reading for the 222-2021 portal that we have coming up here. Uh, it's exactly 11 days past the new moon we just had on the 11th. We're just outside of the stargate between 2-2-2021 and 2-12-2021. Today, the 13th is officially the landing date for that stargate. And we have, oh, is it moving? <laughs> and we are gonna get a reading, just what you need to know for the portal been kind of a what what are we coming into what have you been what's been happening and what to like what do you need to know just really what do you need to know the tower starting off with the tower gemini the tower has been making an appearance in nearly every reading oh wow look at that eight of cups The Tower, Eight of Cups, Queen of Cups, are we right side up or upside down here? Tell me, tell me, we're right side up with the Queen of Cups. Right here. Ten of Swords. So, the Tower, Eight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ten of Swords to start us off. Oh, the way these cards are falling. King of Wands, straight up. And we have the Hermit. I love this card. It is so pretty. Such a pretty card. And Knight of Wands underneath the Queen of Cups next to the Hermit. And let's see. Oh, this one. Knight of Swords. Straight up. Well, there we go. That was fast. That's not a good one. Oh. Person, where is my cord from my computer? That I put in. Did that. So I apologize. Bear with me a moment. Okay. So. The Tower, Eight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ten of Swords, King of Wands, the Hermit, Knight of Wands, and Knight of Swords. Well, first off, we have Gemini, a I'm feeling a shake up here. Uh, this is my stage by the way. It's a little bit. Um, starting off here with a shake up, a breakup, a severing of ways, a parting. Kind of heading out on your own, leaving the past behind, but going towards the future, ready to be renewed. I'm hearing just it's a renewal period, and but there's there's still definitely connections energetic connections or just um, like practical familiar connections possibly 
or it could be I'm not feeling this is you who did the movement, but it could be that, you know, metaphorically other people moved away or left and then you started moving. Either way. Um, <clears throat> this probably started in the summertime more intensely. And This queen of cups is, is kind of in a mode of surrendering and feeling like there really needs to be a, like starting to understand what the, what it means to have the balance of, of the light, the shadow, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, you know, that sort of thing going on and, and spending time in that being in meditation, being on your own, both of these and what you've been doing in that time period. So I'm really feeling this is a very intensely divine feminine aspect here, whether you're male or female, um, it's irrelevant. We all go through periods where we're working on more divine masculine, divine feminine energies, um, where we are more balanced in one and the other, depending on what sex we are, what our physical sex we are. And we just need to, uh, you know, balance that out. But in any event, you are and have been on the move, um, both internally and externally, probably, Maybe you've even taken some road trips, maybe even during the pandemic, you've had a, a different kind of situation where you've, you've moved or you're traveling or something to that effect, or you're thinking about it, or you're taking short trips or you're going out more, maybe taking shorter trips. So I see this like kind of trying to balance be, doing a pretty decent job of balancing your inner and your outer worlds, going into nature, trying to connect with your guides and guardians. Um, and this is really interesting. I don't usually see this card this way, but for some reason I'm feeling like there's something still standing in your way Maybe somebody from the past, somebody has an influence. This could even be you. Like that old you person kind of comes up. The ego possibly that, that fight inside that says no, like the mystical, metaphysical, spiritual, magical things that you experience is so intense and otherworldly and just shocking kind of to your system and that, that that's happening. You questioned your sanity possibly. Is this real? Am I, am I really um, going through this? What is happening? I'm not really having anybody to talk to about it. And then finally discovering there's this whole thing that, that is spiritual awakening and what that is. And you find um, videos like this one or websites like mine. And um, and you learn more and it's just integrating that knowledge, but still, I think that there'll be like periods where you just say, I can't do this and you stop or you have done that. I think that it's been kind of this like, go stop, go stop, or you and or somebody else kind of pulls you away from the spiritual side, from discovery, from remembering, from meditation, from going into astral. It's always something you'll get to and then time goes on, it doesn't happen. And I don't mean always and always, because I do see you obviously doing 
that work, but it's a, it's like, I'll be back. My bird just came out. Okay, so I want to make sure that my door was closed. I heard my bird get out of bed. Um, so anyway, that it's kind of, it's kind of been a stop and go kind of thing. Like, like there was this event, there was this breakup or shakeup or epiphany, you had something happen. Aside from the pandemic, the pandemic could have been a catalyst, or you could have been starting your, uh, your spiritual awakening and journey before the pandemic, but it was like, boom, everything shifted, everything changed. And um, that's definitely been a thing. So coming into more of the now, it looks like you're getting into being more comfortable with the situation. And feeling into what what that's like to to be in your body, to be integrating with your soul and learning what that is and paying attention to synchronicities and researching angel numbers and getting into things, you know, to, to get into that. Like I feel like you're just like, there's been this stop and go, like see how stationary eight of cups is, see how stationary ten of swords is, they're contemplating, they're they're moving, but not quickly. Um and like I said, like if this is in your way here, whether that's you or somebody else or a combination, it's still a block. So incidentally, um, this has been coming up in every reading, the need to cut cords, and I have a, an ebook and a, a guided astral meditation on my podcast for cutting cords. Um, and this could be for people, situations, experiences, traumas, addiction, things that, that have and hold a negative charge within you and is at a place in time or, or actually connected to a person. If um, any past love relationships, family, friends, sexual partners, for sure, are people to disconnect energy from, um, to cut cords with very intentionally so that is definitely thing that to come up because i'm really oh let me because i'm really feeling like it and it may not be a lot of different things it may just be a couple a few bigger things or one or two or three people or one type of circumstance and a couple of people but definitely one person uh, that is coming up. I do feel that it's more masculine, but that doesn't mean that it's a male, but they are maybe a narcissist, maybe very dominant. Maybe they were in control of finances or what you did. It could have even been a boss. Um, and maybe when the whole pandemic thing happened, that whole that whole relationship shifted big time and you didn't have that anymore, but there's still some type of connection there energetically. So that could be a situation. So I'm picking up on a few different situations happening here, talking to a few different empaths and light workers, star seeds, earth angels. Um, so we definitely need to cut cords. Definitely need to say goodbye. We'll call this guy Mr. X, the Mr. X here. And you are just, you've been in this state of like this new, the nine, the hermit, nine is the, the number nine associates to light workers and light working. And um, you can feel that light there. Uh, so on the other side, light workers are known as the nines. So I'm really picking up on this here that you are starting to really re recognize and realize that just because you may be good at a lot of different things, there's a few things that really feed your soul as a light worker. 
and and coming to terms with kind of what that even finances here, like what you may have done for money, the abundance that you had with that. Um, but maybe that's shifted and it's like, I can't do the same thing I was doing before for work and for money. I'm really feeling a calling to get into, into um, anything that is going to be helpful and, and healing and productive and, and helping other people, whether you're a natural healer. So I'm really picking up on healers here. Also, um, so healer, psychic, anything like that. You may be somebody who also reads cards. You may do all those things. I do all those things. Some of us do a lot of different things in that world. Some just stick to one thing and that's all they do. And it's so super intense and it's awesome. I kind of sometimes envy those people. I'm kind of a wildfire. I go and I'm, I'm just go with the energy of where, where it's taking me. I'm the butterfly. So I, I'm infinity, the healing butterfly. By the way, if you don't know me, we got so right into this right away. So if you don't know me, I'm infinity. I'm a psychic, physical empath, medical medium, psychic channel, um, soul guide, distance healer. I work worldwide from California and have a lot of services, private readings, private energy um, work. I have an Evolve Now program that really helps people to majorly level up and heal and connect and um anyway it's a whole it's a whole thing so check it out if you're interested the healingbutterfly.com or sorry dot org the healingbutterfly.org is the website also in the description so anyway if you're guided there i have ebooks on cord cutting so we want to get into cord cutting if you haven't done it you need to do it my uh, on my website, I have a, an ebook that talks all about the importance of cord cutting. So please take a look at it. Please read it. Tons of information. And then on my podcast, um, I don't put it on my YouTube channel because it is just on my podcast, but, uh, on my podcast is the guided astral healing meditation practice for cord cutting. We go to the healing temple. We work with your energy. We work with integrating with crystals. We, I mean, it is so amazing. It's such an amazing healing practice. Um, Self-healing It's bringing energy back into your, to your body. It's resetting energies with people, which is so healthy, so good. It works and it's felt on both sides not just your side, it's felt on both sides. So I can really get into that. So please read, I can just go on and on. Um, so getting into feeling this blend of the fire and the water, the light and the dark, the feminine and the masculine, the inner and the outer is really where it's all about to start with your to really start on a good foundation. Also getting a sense of what and who you are on a soul-based level is really important. So you may be getting into that phase of your awakening as well, especially after you cut cords, you are going to, because you're, you're like here right now. You're in this phase. So you're heading towards this phase. So this is, so it's kind of like past, present, future. So this is where you're headed. Um, Let's get into, and, and this is really cool because, whoopsie, <laughs> this Knight of Swords is on a mission, literally, and has the protection, has the, the help and the guidance from above, from his spirit guides, from literally animal spirits and your guides, guardians, and all the rest of them that work with you. And what, and, and that's gonna be, so this is the energy coming into this right here is the energy for 
the portal on the 22nd. So between now and the 22nd, it's a really great idea to work on cutting cords. It's always a good idea to do that. And it's not permanent, it's just necessary. Um, also in regards to the money thing for today's energy update and uh, spiritual guidance, I did a meditation. It was about abundance and feeling the money wound was absolutely beautiful. Um, I just facilitate, I just show up and then I channel the meditation. So I don't really, I don't design them. So I have no problem saying how awesome they are. <laughs> so, you know, oh my goodness. This card keeps coming up in the last three readings. This, this is the fourth reading, I believe, that this has come up. I think there's only one reading that this didn't come up in. Nothing will come of this situation. The void, uh, void of course, moon. And what that means is that there's a period of time every, well, whenever we go between uh, signs the moon goes between signs that could be like it's in between literally in between signs so it's called a void of course anyway this representing um a couple of different things but we're gonna get another card and if it's the other same card <laughs> the really interesting what is it it's just keeps happening but it's really understandable why that keeps happening. I'll tell you in a moment. Don't freak out about this. Nothing will come of this situation because that's not necessarily the case. There you go. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Well, there you go. So let me explain this guy. Nothing will come of this situation. What that means is until you do the work to cut cords, until you work really hard to, and and it's not, it's a beautiful thing to do and you'll love it and it'll feel really good, but it may, it may just, it always feels and sounds more daunting than it is. I know most people have this, well, some people are like, I'm going to get on that right now. And they just dive right in. Some people are like, oh boy, I don't know. Either way, it needs to be done because it's like, this is the, this is the cord and it's being held really tight. So until you take control of that, there's always going to be this, this, shadow of energy that's pulling it's literally taking from your life force so every cord that's out takes from your life force um, i'm going to do a separate another separate i do have aside from the um the ebook i have a podcast that's all about cord cutting so you can also listen to that a uh 83 episode 83 of my podcast. So you can get more of the download there. I'm just really passionate about cord cutting because it's just been such a theme. I've written about it. I've done, I facilitated the meditation. I walk, I help people with that. Um, and, you know, moral support kind of thing. And it's just so important. It's such a big deal. So anyway, until this goes on, until you get into that space, hopefully sooner than later, hopefully in these next few days before we get to the 22 portal, the more cords you can cut, the better. And it's just keeps coming up. And if you're somebody that has come over from um, Gareth, uh, Gareth's channel, Gareth uh, Hudson Tarot, he's awesome. He has a really popular channel. Um, It's it, he did a an, a divine feminine and a divine masculine reading today, and in both of those, um, it came up. Well, that was kind of well, it was about cord cutting too, but really emphasis on the abundance matrix and healing healing the abundance and healing the money wound from my meditation today. So um, that's part of it too, because like I said, we have this thing with possibly where is like this change in finances possibly because of what happened here? I feel that um, just circumstances have changed or, or yeah. Um, 
And it's also speaks to dreams and dreaming. So nighttime, paying attention to your dreams, that sort of thing. But I really feel that that for the most part of who I'm talking to here, it's not necessarily a lot of people or a lot of, of cords to cut. It's like, like I said, like one, two, th maybe three people or, or experiences or situations, maybe even as far back as like high school um, or into childhood. It could be, it's always a good idea to cut cords with parents uh, at any stage, at any age, because there's so much energy there between, between you and your parents or your parents and you. So cutting cords is so healthy and so such a loving act to do seriously. If you feel like, oh, I can't do that. It sounds, you know, really invasive or hard or, or harsh or painful or, or like I'm abandoning somebody or any of that stuff, you really need to get that out of your head because it's not true. None of that is true. Plus, it's super easy to establish cords again. Okay, so moving on, we're going to get a Hidden Worlds Oracle. And round this out. But I'm really loving this right here. That inner and outer that we have the Queen of Cups, nine, Knight of Wands. Uh, so the Divine Masculine is catching up to the Divine Feminine. Because this is a Knight and this is a Queen. It's on a King. Your king is over here. That dude, we we gotta bye bye. Or female, it could be a female. So it could be a, could be a female that's that is a masculine, a divine masculine, um, or has more of that divine masculine energy. There we go. The gift. Oh, we got two. The gift and the oracle. Wow. Card number 32. Oh no, I was gonna say seriously, 31 and 32. Uh, 39, the gift. And the Oracle. So we're gonna go with the gift here. Card number 39, let me show you. Present honoring offering. That is really pretty. So card number 39. Okay. On pages 112 and 113, here on the 13th. There are times in this life when you know you have been given a great gift. It can be a life-changing moment, one in which you feel suddenly that all has changed. Yeah. Remember, we started with the tower. Yeah. And what once was can never be the same again. Because what has taken place has been a gift, a way of seeing, feeling, perceiving the energies all about you. And this is now what lies before you. You are being offered a great gift, one which is in part destiny, in part reward, in part plea for you to receive this gift of perception. To begin to see what lies beyond the confines of the world others call real and to become a being who understands the language of the spirit as it is expressed in the world. Oh, I love that. That is beautiful. And to become a being who understands the language of the spirit as it is expressed in the world. This gift may be in the form of visions and of knowledge, but it comes from a trusted source in ways that cascade and gather just as they do down this waterfall until its, its presence can no longer be denied. But like I said, we have this like going forward and going back, going forward and going back kind of thing. So it's reminding me of that. There is a sacred trust being placed in you by the beings of the hidden worlds. They ask you to be their emissary on this planet. No, amidst the ordinary moments of our lives that within these two lie the sacred. It is the intent which we bring to 
those moments that determine that determines whether all we do is an offering and wait, sorry. <laughs> it is the in, intent which we bring to those moments that determines whether all we do is an offering and is made sacred or if it's simply in the domain of the mundane. Dear one, we come to you now and ask you to receive this gift. We ask you to know you are a chosen one, to take the gift and perceive, yeah, oh no, persevere, wait, is it persevere or perceive? Oh, preserve, there we go, not either of them. <laughs> I'm like, what? My brain, okay. <laughs> Persevere, preserve. Okay, pick one. <laughs> to take the gift and preserve what is sacred in the moments great and small of your life. Once accepted, life will change and you will change too in ways that will quench the deep thirst of your soul and illumination. It is now my time to receive. I accept the gifts of the hidden world gladly and with an open heart. Lovely. Lovely. So your, your journey here is like, yeah, you really, this is you. So don't let anybody, you know, distract you move forward. You're coming into alignment. You're, you're going, you're, you're going to get this. This is going to happen. You just have to, like, I see the ball rolling or the, the, uh, what is it? The boulder rolling down the mountain, like once you move this stick, and I really feel like we have some blocks to to release, and then we move this stick, and then it starts to go, and you can start to rise. Remember what it said here about being being of light. You are this divine being, um, and balancing out the the water, the fire is perfect, um. And it, I know it feels more like, you know, two feet, you know, three feet forward, four feet back or whatever, but it's been more progress than you probably realize, I think, honestly. And, um, but you need to know that you're at a point now where it's really about choices. Like, cause we all have, they're all, there always comes a time in our journey where it's either we're going to drop a lot of baggage and just take the what is needed and continue on because we know we cannot keep going forward with so much attached to us so it's kind of like you see those rock climbers that go incredibly high like free climbing just with like their hands and stuff they don't carry a lot of stuff do they they keep it really simple because they need to rise really high and they need to, they can't be taking a shit ton of stuff with them on their journey. It just wouldn't make any sense. Could you imagine? So that's kind of what it's like here. It's, it's about, it's about that. And we need to make the, there comes points, there becomes there's certain points in times where we need to kind of What's the, oh, I can't think of the term. It's like cut line or fish, fish powder cut line or something like that. It's like you're going forward or you're not, you know? And, and, and that happens, oh, could happen over and over again in our spiritual journey because with each gate or portal or, or level we cross, it's going to get harder. It is just like a video game. It doesn't get easier. It does get harder. So you have to be prepared. You need to be lighter. So we have heavy we have light and, and the hermit is, is going from this outer to this inner and then coming out. So there you go. I hope this resonates with you. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know if it does resonate with you. And of course, visit my website, check out my offerings. I do have private reads and like I said, all the other good stuff. Uh, and um, let's see, final thoughts? Just meditate for wellness, that's all I can say. You need to be this, taking care of this. 
and that's it. Okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Gemini, the balance. I can see it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you soon. Peace out for now.